Why I still edit with a 2018 MacBook Pro, I don't know, because I have a hunch that this guy might be able to beat out my MacBook Pro. Look, I still use it because Mac OS and iPhone, but maybe this is worth having as a secondary computer or to use at work in place of my MacBook. Let's find out. Hello, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Josh Shorley and I make product reviews, tutorials, and vlog every once in a while. And today I have this mini PC from Aliwava that I was sent to test out. I wasn't initially going to film this with any of my cameras, uh, but in the long run, it might be best that I am just so that we can have high quality footage to benchmark this PC and see if it's worth your money. I have a hunch it'll be fine for your generic web browsing, but for people like me who edit videos and need more power for whatever reason, this should be a proper test. So let's just get into it. So in the box, just slides open like this and you get the tiny PC itself, which is like the size of the palm of my hand. And on the back you have your fans, a ethernet port, two USBs, two HDMI, you know, your power in on the front, looks like a USB 3 of sorts, headphone jack and your power button. And in here you get all the cables you could potentially need to get this set up, including but not limited to your power brick. Oh, and you get some mounting hardware if you wanna put it on the back of your monitor. So let's go ahead and take the plastic off. This tiny computer contains the AMD Ryzen 7 5800U, has an AMD Radeon 8 core graphics, has two 16 gigabyte sticks of memory. My particular model has 512 gigabytes of storage with storage expansion available, has Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2 and puts out 65 watts of power. So that's what's in the box. Let's get this set up, hooked up to a monitor and do some benchmarking. All right, so now we're flipped at my desk. I don't normally shoot this angle. Don't think I ever will except for times like this where I need to show how this all gets set up. So. Here I have my MacBook Pro hooked up to the monitors. I'm about to get those unplugged so I can hook up this with either my existing HDMI cable or these. I don't think I'm gonna bore you with me plugging everything up because then I gotta move cameras, so, so fast forward right now. All right, so this has been going for just a tiny bit and now it's booting up Windows. There's a lot more filling this out. Circle back when I get this done. All right, update, got a mouse working. It is an Apple trackpad, but hey, a mouse is a mouse, so I'll take it. And now we're in the setup process. Let's go. All right, so now I have everything set up. I even downloaded Chrome so I could <laughs> install Adobe Creative Cloud, so I could install Adobe Premiere, so I can benchmark this computer the only way I know how and that is to pull up a video I actually just published on Monday as of recording this. And today I put up a different video this morning, but regardless, this is my video about the Aegis Sport Watch. Now it is missing a lot of files. It is missing my audio recording. It is missing the tool I use to color grade. And that's strictly a licensing thing. I've imported my 4K export settings. So we're going to do a render test and see how this goes. So I'm going to come up to export. I'm going to give this a name. I'm going to call this the Aliwaba export test. And we're going to hit export and see how long this takes. So right now it's saying about 15 minutes to do a 4K export on a nearly nine minute video. All right, so that export just finished at 7.05 according to that computer and an actual time 9.05 p.m. of which I'm recording this at. So that meant that export took about 17, 18 minutes. So I'm very curious to see how long it would take on my MacBook Pro 
with the color grading, with extra things, I want to say it would take about the same amount of time. So I want to run that test really quick. I'll come back and then we can compare. But so far, I don't know if this computer would be the best for someone who wants to do video editing. All right, hi, editing me here. Little do I know how wrong I am going to be. So just, you'll see. But if you want a affordable and cheap computer for just browsing the web and doing document type tasks and nothing too extensive like exporting 4K footage, it should be fine. But because we're already here, I wanna go ahead and export this exact same video on my MacBook and see how it compares. So I'm gonna run that. I'm not gonna bore you with the exports, but I'm gonna come back and I'll give you that update. So be right back. I don't know what I was expecting, but my MacBook Pro is still exporting this video. So, if anything, I am the one who's using a computer that should not be fit for video editing. And yet, it is the computer I've continued to use. Tell me you're overdue for a computer upgrade without telling me you're overdue for a computer upgrade. I've already been going first. <laughs> this is embarrassing. We are now at 18 minutes and this and my MacBook still says it needs another 35 some minutes to export this video. I'm just gonna stop this timer because this little guy has already beat my 2018 MacBook Pro and there is no point in continuing on. So in conclusion, I, I take back what I said earlier. This, com this computer is probably fine for video editing. Is it the best for it? Probably not. Is it definitely good enough? Absolutely. Especially considering that it is was powering two 1080p monitors. Can't speak for a 4K monitor, but it exported a 4K video, granted without the color grade, in 17, 18 minutes. Now on my 2018 MacBook Pro, I do have the color grade, but it should not make that much of a difference, and it is taking probably double that. So if you're considering getting this computer, it's totally worth it. That's that. That's the video. Don't know what I was planning for this. I have a lot to consider now. So all in all, should you buy it? Yes. Have a nice day. Bye.